Hello fellow YouTubers, now that we are done with our application, we now have to focus on deployment, right? So to deploy this application, there are a couple of things you need to do. I've just updated my code base and I've done something that I would like to show you now. So in your package.json, I would like you to go ahead on the build and actually have this uh, script uh, edited to this um, you need to start with prisma generate and then next build right so the reason why i've done like that is because when you try to just run a uh, next build without generating the prisma uh, client it will give you issues right so you need to do that and have that sorted out right then the next thing that i actually did was to in each and every page in my app directory here right I've added an extra file. It's the same. It's the same file loading .tsx, right? So this is just to show a, a a nice user, you know, to give the user a nice experience. When you're fetching data from the database, or when you're actually loading that page, you just need to show a spinner, right? Okay. So I've done that on multiple pages, like for example, on the user pages. I've done it. You can see this loading. Can go so good orders loading right. You can also go to help loading right. So make sure you actually populate that with your code in your code base right. It's optional but it gives a nice user experience right. Then once you're done doing that, if you run yarn build, you're gonna experience you're gonna see a lot of errors right. If you run yarn build, you're gonna see a lot of errors. The reason is that you just need to fix your imports right and correct some of the things so these are the errors that i've just seen so far if you run yarn build you're going to see these warnings like for example you're going to see here like cannot find the name menu so you just need to make sure like you import your types right so go to this particular file which is dashboard menu admin right if you see such an error admin preview then make sure like you import uh, this type right so let's just try to look at that let's go to this dashboard menu so it's menu then what admin preview menu right just like here so it was giving us an error here to say you cannot find the name of this menu so what you just need to do you just need to import that menu from prisma client right so what i normally do i just place my case away the name is the type is just place my case there then i hit command dot on mac or control dot on um, windows then automatically you'll be able to import uh, this type right so there are a couple of errors you're gonna see and uh, they are just the same it's a matter of types right i did yarn build again then in the category uh i've also fixed this upload image right so if you go to dashboard settings admin category we'll see like in our upload image component needs um a handle callback so it needs a property called handle callback right so let's just try to go there let's try to go to admin um settings so admin settings then add category add category we just see like our upload image component we actually put gave it a property of a handle callback function and you put that function so that function is just simple we just um, defined it here and we just say console log right so just make sure you go and fix that in your code base as well right so let's look at some of the errors um so it's the same error here type in error of a type error right and also you can see also it's type error so on this part here i've actually fixed our data um that we're actually getting from the data folder right so we don't have cut that category we now have um title right so we now have title previously we'd said this is a category but we now have title so just go ahead and change all the places where you see where it's written category to title right okay so these are the errors make sure you fix them this is an import error import error right and also import error make sure you go and fix them if you are having any challenges kindly go and compare my code on the report that i've provided so i provided the link as well 
right for you to go and check uh, the completed code right once you're done with that you should be able to say yarn build right so stop stop the dev development server and run yarn build right when you run yarn build if everything goes well you should have a successful build right once you have a successful build uh, the next step is just to commit your code commit your code to your repo once you commit your code to a repo then you can actually go ahead and um and um deploy it on vessel so we are using vessel for deployment right so i have my vessel if you are not yet signed up for vessel you need to go and sign up for vessel right there is my code in my repo right there are three branches there is the design and also with back end right so my main code is actually in the main branch right so if you go on to vessel make sure you just click add new project select a project once you select a project then you now need to select where um your your, your repositories are right so you can just click add github account and you'll be able to see the project that you want to add you can just select it's straightforward it gives you an option to select um the, the project you want to uh, have right okay so once you're done with that um, then you can just say import the universal automatically import um, all your projects right and once all your projects are imported you can just simply click deploy from there right so you will need to redo it again because um in your settings like right so you click on the project that you just deployed now it might give you an error right it means there's some couple of things that you might need to solve uh, the one of them that i can think of right now is actually the environment of variables right so there is so multiple ways of doing it you can just simply import your environment of variable.m file right or you can type them one by one so i would encourage you to just import once you import and your environment of variables they will be populated like this then you can hit redeploy again right and your project should be live just as mine live and accessible and you can actually be able to um showcase your project right so this is the deployment side of things right let's just call and check if our build has been successful all right our build is still running but it should be successful right if you are encountering any errors please kindly contact me or write in a comment section and let's help each other to make our project live so this is the project everything is completed to the step where we finished so some of the things you can go ahead and complete on your own right otherwise that's the main project right we will have a version two of this whole project probably in the next few months right